Damn, bro, that's crazy. That came from Portugal. Bro, that's definitely a bug from Portugal. It's a fucking Portugal cockroach. Bro, what the fuck is... Oh, shit, it's flying. We just got a really cool item. This is the first ever product that Soon Pro Dev has... First ever pair of shoes that Soon Pro Dev has ever put out. Um, so we're excited to open this. You gonna and show them? You gonna show them? Should we show them? I don't know. I mean, we're, we're is not it, uh, Is it confidential? We're not showing what clients for. for proprietary. Okay, just, can you blur this out? No, no, no. no I just want to see him. Damn, this is actually. Really nice. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, Poppy can send us this list of all their back to school stuff, so I'm putting it in Excel to see if it's already on shelf or if it's up in storage to make it easier on the guys so because we're gonna have to go look through and confirm all this because they have their pre-orders for july and we're booking in a bunch of that stuff but a lot of the back to school also is on those orders so i'm trying to see where it's at in the warehouse without looking it up manually one by one so a little excel magic you heard all right, so as you've seen in the last clip, this is kind of what I was talking about. I printed out this sheet with all of the SKUs in our warehouse compared to where they're actually at in our warehouse. So we got this sheet, so we would come over to one of the bins on this sheet to see if it's actually there because this was an older product that we put up into storage, but they are about to release it again this month. So that's what we're coming to double check. So I went up to one of the bins and that SKU is in here. So the reason for this check would be to see if it was actually in a different bin or up in storage still, because that would mean we'd have to go find it because it was assigned its old location. And if that was the case, then we'd have to go find it because we don't want to run orders when the items aren't there, obviously, to make us as productive as possible. Because if people are running and then pickers are turning in carts with missing products or they're, they just can't run their full cart uh, seamlessly, then it causes issues. So that's what this is for. Little back end work. Pretty, uh, pretty big meeting this morning. We have our final meeting with the uh, decision panel, I guess, for the PO robotic system. So they sent us a list of questions that they're going to ask. I think they asked all these questions in our first meeting, but since it's the since it's the deciding panel, uh, they will probably want to hear the same. Uh, or they probably have the same questions, so a little nervous, not gonna lie. Uh, Austin and I were talking about this, we've never like won anything like big or grand in our lives, so it'd be kind of cool like if we as a business win this uh, system, really benefit us. But yeah, we're, uh, we're very, very confident that we uh, deserve this, or not deserve this, but uh, should win, I don't know. I don't know the, I don't know the words the right words to say, but um, we just feel like this will be a huge benefit for us if we do win it and we feel like uh, we've checked all the boxes, uh, we have all the right people, the tools, the, uh, the business model and everything for, for this system. So uh, we're just gonna jump on this call and be ourselves and keep uh, doing what we've been doing and just being who we are and open and, and transparent. So. That's all we can do. Yes, we can. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good, morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> Are you mad? But if, if we're having this robotics thing in the warehouse and we're really showcasing, like, hey, this is this is who we are and this is what we have, and I think that would just be a massive added value to our, our business as a whole. The same prices as the PO system would be, right? So uh, that would be an amazing case for us to show that you could then not only save your ship hero cost or replace it with PO, but then yeah. 5x your uh, performance uh, yeah. and 5x your inventory. Right? Yeah, and, and like my biggest, my biggest issue with ship hero is if I hire a new employee, I have to create them an employee profile and then I have to pay an additional $100 a month just for that employee. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for the, for the opportunity. Yeah. yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Hopefully we're making a cool video soon. All right. <laughs> All right, it's been a crazy Q2 here at Relay Distro. Uh, there's been a lot of things going on. I'm gonna talk about some 
uh, more transparent, real things that actually do happen in, in, in the business, right? So uh, early Q2, we brought on a new warehouse manager and uh, he lasted about a month. So, uh, you know, that's just the, the way things go. You know, sometimes people don't always work out for your business, it's not a good fit. Um, he was a great person, uh, great experience, great everything. Just, uh, I think the startup vibe that we had and the startup is just, it, it didn't really make sense with uh, what we were trying to do uh, and what he wanted out of a, a business, right? So uh, thankfully we have Kevin now. So uh, original plan was actually to bring in Kevin. It kind of all worked out in a, in a weird little way. So Kevin's been crushing it for us here in the warehouse actually just met with Kevin today to go over some Q3 goals for the warehouse. Times, if you were here, so seven hours counting a break, 350 items for a shift. Yeah. If all you did was pick all day, but that's where it's hard. So then we just have to divide it out. Let's say you were only doing, so 350 is for seven hours. So if you were only here for what, five, or if you only picked for five hours, 50 per hour? Yeah, 50 items per hour. That's with like no issue. What would you, what would you think the, the packing would be? That should be more? I think, because you're not moving, you're just yeah. scanning and going. So that would replace right. like three people by itself. Yeah, I told, I told this kid, I told Christian about it, he's like, damn, I already get replaced. <laughs> I think you hold them to the higher standard and like, yeah, if they don't hit it. But then if they don't hit it, it's like, oh, it's okay. No. Well, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. If they don't hit 50, then... If that's what I'm saying. We can set it at 50 and then evaluate it. Tweak it, yeah. yeah. So we evaluate from there. Off the assumption, we don't get the PO. Just probably organization more. Like, mm -hmm. take things down. Like, everything has a home. Yeah, and that's what I like is like, like the trash cans get like literally like a circle tape, like they never leave that spot. Okay. Like. We have a lot in store for, for what we want to do. And uh, I think you guys know by now we entered that contest. So Monday morning at 8.30, we'll find out the results. The other thing is, you know, uh, as a, a company that you, or a company where you service clients, you know, not every client is a forever client. Some come and go. We were informed by two clients that they will be leaving and it uh, actually was not anything related to the services we were providing. We weren't lacking or failing in any way. Uh, the business side of things for them just wasn't making sense with how they were performing. So uh, it's not like we lost like a super high value client and we're gonna be in a really bad position. Uh, these were clients that were startups trying to get things going and they're just reevaluating how they wanna proceed with their business. So uh, yeah, they will be exiting here uh, next week, uh, which is good because it, it frees up a little bit more space for us to kind of get go out, maybe get another client or two that we may have held off on because we've kind of been at a, a capacity uh, level with picking space. So, so the goal for Q2 or Q3, sorry, is to go out and get a few more clients as well and, and fill these gaps that we now have. Uh, we got also had a new big client come in in Q2. We got them all settled in. And like I said, Kevin and I, we worked through some of our operationals, uh, operational procedures. And now that those are squared away, we're ready to also bring in some more clients now as well. So a uh, lo lot of operational things uh, this month or these past few months. Uh, some, some good news, some not so great news. The other piece of that is we signed a lease for a uh, second location. So that's gonna be kind of the back stock or, or overflow location for us should we need it. We will now be taking over the full warehouse here uh, in the space that we're at, which is gonna open up, like I said, even more room for us to go get out, go get that uh, more business. So, uh, but a lot of the, the decisions we're gonna make kind of ride on this Monday meeting and how we're gonna proceed with, uh, you know, if we get this system, it's gonna all, like allow us to essentially bring in another giant client if we want to, or uh, if we don't get it, we're going to have to get creative with some of our picking space and picking bins and maybe utilize some of that space back there. But yeah, reworking our operations, like our receiving is going to move from uh, up front to the back because we'll now be able to have access to the loading dock that's back there. So we'll be reworking some of our receiving procedures, our inbound or outbound. 
Uh, on the client relations side of things, they're gonna be rolling out a new software that we're gonna be using for uh, client relations management or day-to-day -day operations. Right now, we kind of use a, a, a tandem of both with our WMS system and Discord. We communicate with all of our clients on a day-to-day -day basis with Discord. Uh, Discord has been amazing for us as we started up, but now as our client list is growing, uh, the communications are growing, we needed something a little bit more robust to be able to track like order issues and uh, scheduling and things like that. So we went with a program called Basecamp. It's a full project management uh, system that honestly allows us to do a lot more for our clients with communication and, and customer service. So we will be rolling that out on the product development side and the fulfillment side. Uh, Ship Hero, our platform also rolled out a new like customer service interface for for clients that we're going to be uh, onboarding them on as well. Uh, and then the other side of things, you know, as our business has grown and we've been able to bring in more order volume, we've also been able to negotiate better shipping rates for our clients. And, you know, uh, we're not just the company that ships out orders. We also want to make sure our clients are successful and, um, you know, getting the best rates that they can. So uh, in turn, we will bring down their cost on the, the shipping side as well. So. Uh, we were able to negotiate some new rates with this new service that we're going to kind of roll out for all of our clients and hopefully uh, we're able to save them up to 15% on their shipping costs. So uh, we're not just about making money here, we're about helping our clients scale and grow and I think um, putting some money back in their pocket is, is one way that we're able to help them do that. So a lot, like I said, a lot of things went on in Q2. We're constantly trying to get better. Uh, serve our clients better, do, th do what we can to get better, and uh, Q3 is going to be uh, crazy, and Q4 is going to be, I don't even want to talk about Q4 right now, so uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs>